Hi. How are you? How are you? You guys look so cute back there. Oh, thank you. I love it. I want to get one of those outfits. Can I get one of those outfits? No, you can not. When you finish your lunch. When you finish your lunch, absolutely. I'll let you mind. Speaking of lunch and delicious things I've wanted to eat here my whole life, I definitely got to get the double dip sandwich. But what else? What That's else? That's the beef. That's the best in the our restaurant. And this one is lamb. And we have the uh, pastrami. We have pork, turkey. Well, let me get the pastrami. I'll take you up on that challenge. You like double dip or single? Let's fill up the original. I gotta go double okay. dip. The regular is only one size, but if you really like the aju, the dip, you can have double dip. You want me to do it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's double dip. You can triple dip it if you'd like to. All right. Say that. <laughs> and let me try the pork sandwich as well. Same way, double dip. Yes. Okay. And what is it? That that's not enough. <laughs> Only for you, right now, but you forgot the salads. We have potato, macaroni. I wouldn't coleslaw. feel right to have a salad. I'll tell you what, your favorite salad, put that in there. I'm going to put the coleslaw, that's top of the line. Next one is potato, and that's one is macaroni, but they're all good. Okay, I'll definitely try those. Well, thank you so much. Can I get a high five? All righty. And you're going to make it right there? Sure. Okay. Can we watch? Can we watch? Can we watch? See you in soon. Yay! And that's the final part of it. That's the pork that's, and the... You have the pork, the beef, a potato salad, coslo, a pickle, chilies, you got your lemonade, special lemonade. <laughs> and since I got here so early, the pastrami's not ready yet, no, it's but you're going to bring it out in a little bit. Most of the time, it's uh, 11 or 10.30. Okay. Well, I, that's good because I can't eat three sandwiches at the same time. Oh, okay. So I you can try. <laughs> put another one if you have a space. <laughs> gotcha. So by the time I'm done with those guys, You'll bring out the pastrami and then we'll give a hug and everything will be right in the forest. Awesome, thank you. Okay, thank you. You're the best. <laughs> Bye-bye there. <sighs> Two sandwiches in front of my face. The famous beef, the famous pork, double dipped. To my satisfaction, pastrami sandwich coming on the way, lemonade, pickle salad, pepperoncinis, coleslaw, potato salad, pickled egg. Always wanted to eat here, and they've given me the Philip original experience, and it's right in front of me. It's right in front of me. It's right there. The original. Philip, the original double dipped French dip sandwich. This place is over 110 years old now. And uh, all that legacy has brought this sandwich to his mouth. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you bite into things that you've always wanted to try and they don't live up to the hype. I mean, honestly, it's bread and meat and, and a Jew gravy. But whatever they put in that bread, in that meat, in that gravy, wow, blows my expectations away. That is fantastic. Wow. I'm about to say dude. After the next bite, I'm going to say dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yay. That's this little homemade Philly pickles, pepperoncini, little uh, cocktail right here. I'm gonna cleanse the palate. Cleanse the palate. Between the sandwiches, you have to cleanse the palate. I've learned these things doing this show. So here we go. It's just a pickle, but damn it. I mean, damn it. I know, watch your language, Brandon. 
but I'm cussing over a pickle. Damn it. That's a spicy little son of a pepper. Wow. Let's get piggy with it. Philippe Original pork sandwich. Made the same way. It's just sh shaved pork. It's just bread. It's just the same gravy that everything's dipped into. That's all it is. But I got a feeling that's not going to be all it is. It's going to be awesome and wonderful and incredible and fantastic and phenomenal. What other words can I think of? None. Stupendous. That is stupendous. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hmm. I've learned something else as I've been filming these shows. When I really like something, I'll say one of two things. Oh, man. Or dude. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a damn good sandwich. <sighs> mm. Oh, man. Oh, here. here we go. That's your pastrami. Pastrami. There's regular master in case we need it and mainly on the side, okay? But it's already oh, double this. You're the best. Have a nice day. You're my new best friend. Bye bye. <laughs> Yay, just in time. Once again, simple. There's not cheese, there's not sauerkraut, there's not a bunch of stuff. It's bread and meat and gravy. You dip the bread in the gravy, you put the meat on the bread, you put it together, you cut it in half, you send it to mouth. Just like mine. <sighs> Pastrami and bread. Philip original. Mm hmm. 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 This egg came from a purple chicken. I mean it. It really happened. A purple chicken laid this egg. Okay, it's a pickled egg, and they're known for it. They have gallons and gallons and jars of these things everywhere. Spicy mustard, pickled egg, mm. base. Oh, dude. <laughs> I feel like I'm running. I'm gonna do the running man. Yep, oh, stirring the mashed potatoes. There it is. That made me dance. And I can't dance. Not at all. But I tried. That, that, that inspired me to shake my money maker. Holy crap. That just changed, that just changed uh, hard boiled eggs for me forever. So I have to figure out how to do that one. Or to steal a jar on my way out. Mark, I'm down to my last bite pastrami, pork, the original beef. I'm gonna tell you, this lived up to my expectations. I would tell you if it didn't. This didn't live up, but it blew away my expectations. It's just meat and bread, Mark. Yeah, very simple. And, and gravy, of course. What sets this apart? What, what, what is making me love this? Well, you, you really hit the nail on the head. It's three very basic, simple ingredients. It's the bread that's made fresh daily, the local bakery. Uh, then the, the meat, it's a uh, choice bottom round that we cook here. It takes about three hours to cook. Uh, we season it to our specifications, we have it trimmed to our specifications, and then that third thing is the au jus, and that's the real critical part. That's what sets our sandwich apart from all the other French dishes. And I got a there. really distinct suspicion you're not going to tell me what's in it. You're absolutely right, I'm not going to tell you what's in it. Uh, but and, and as I said, that's the key to the sandwich, is the spices that we use when seasoning the meat. It's sort of a two-step process when we make this au jus, it's the pan drippings that you cook three 20 pound bottom rounds at a time. Oh, yeah. That's going to generate, you know, a fair amount of juice. I, yeah, the then most delicious stuff on earth, right? We're, and we're going to do that like. Lick it up. It's great. Very concentrated. Yes. Too concentrated, as a matter of fact. So we, we cut that with a beef stock that we make here. Oh, wow. Okay. So together, blend it together, you get a nice balance. You get all the savory flavors from the seasonings, get some of the salty flit, saltiness. Um, and then together, when you dip that bread in the meat, it's a simple sandwich, as I said, but you dip that in the au jus, it's a great combination. It, it, Really, <laughs> really yeah. is. Like I said, I came here, I've always wanted to eat here. This is one of those places you hear about, yeah. and you go, well, maybe someday, and then today became someday, but 
Um, yeah, it absolutely blew away my expectations. You guys have been here for over 100 years now. 2008 was your 100-year anniversary? Yeah, it was our 100-year anniversary, so right? fast forward to 107 years old, I mean, have you been here the whole time? I it's... have. I'm not that old. I, <laughs> I, I, hope I don't look, look that great, I, 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 I feel that old sometimes, but I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still fairly young. I'm the fourth generation in the family that's been running it. Oh, nice. And I work here with uh, about six other family members. Uh, and it's a it's a real labor of love. Um, you know, I think we all have a real strong commitment to, to really the consistency of the, the products that we make and making sure that it is consistent from year one year to the next and from generation to generation. Because you know, we get a lot of comments from people that have been coming here. Well, my grandparents brought me here first, and they say it still looks exactly the same. The flavors are still the same. That's very important to us. Oh, absolutely. And it, it, when you have a historic location, you have a historic taste, and you have it, you keep it in the same family. That's so important. And, and then you get these people, like you said, their grandkids ate here, and then they, or then they, when they were kids, they ate here. Then they bring their grandkids in here, and then, that is an awesome story right. to go along with an awesome taste and awesome location. Well, and often people have their favorites. You know, whatever their favorite, they're always. I, every time I come in, I get. A beef double dip with Jack, whatever it might be, and so they believe me. They know exactly how that beef double dip with Jack is supposed to taste. Absolutely. So and that's and so they're good critics for us. They say, hey, things taste a little different today. Well, we check it out and see if you know maybe something changed from a menu. Really, they get that. They get oh, that absolutely. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, sure. we listen to you know any input from them because they're very they're very um, consistent with with what they expect, and that's what keeps us really on our toes day to day. Really quick, two questions: Is it Philip? Felipe or Philippe? Boy, that's probably our most commonly asked question. And I had to know because I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, well, it's, the, the original originator of the restaurant is Philippe Mathieu. So, so French Philippe Mathieu, so it would be Philippe's. I think it would be the original. We hear Felipe's a lot, Felipe's. That's kind of how we say it in the family. I think probably the worst Felipe. pronunciation, Felipe. <laughs> very Americanized. Uh, but I think Philippe Mathieu was, since being the originator, would be Philippe's. But like it, we, we really don't mind how it's pronounced. As long and as what was his story? Well, so he was a French immigrant. He worked uh, at several restaurants with his wife. Um, when he got to uh, Felipe's, uh, it was more of kind of a deli, uh, a lot of pickled items. You know, refrigeration back in 1908 wasn't what it is now. It's a lot of you know, pickled items for uh, to keep things fresh. Uh, and, and he started making sandwiches too, and French rolls, just um, like a, a beef beef sandwich. Uh, one day he accidentally dropped a roll in in one of these pans that had some pan drippings in it and uh, the customer who was a policeman said I'm gonna take it like that anyways don't worry don't make me another one I'll try it and he loved that extra added flavor that the that the au jus from the from the beef you know imparted on the bread and, and, and it just went from there and just like that it's almost like I accidentally got my peanut butter in your chocolate yeah, yeah it's like just magic happens same it's, same idea it, it, was, it, it was magic we do two to three thousand of these sandwiches a day two to so three thousand sandwiches a day it's definitely caught on Jeez, we well did like three here, so I hope. So you're, you're on your yeah, you're on your way. You got on my start. way. I got another couple thousand to go, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna take this last bite. I thank you so much. You're this very welcome. Been a thank very you for coming in. Total thank honor you. for me. I appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, from uh, Philippe or Philip or <laughs> Philippe's. Yes, this is the last one. And it was as good as the first one. Wow. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming in. So